start recording this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, bro, Chachos? We're out here at the Onto Shit LA store with the backbreaking machine at Phil Bra's bike. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to keep your bike protected. And to do so, we're going to be using the Sabrosa equipment here. As you can tell, Sabrosa has a game on lock. Part of the cheesy pun. But let me show you guys how to keep your bike safe because this bad boy costs a lot of money and you want to keep it nice and intact and in your possession, right? So let me show you how we do that. First starters, we have a Sabrosa Combat Lock. On the back of every Sabrosa lock package, you have a degree of safety. And Sabrosa rates this one at a two. So this is meant for short-term usage. So what does this mean? It means that this Combat Lock, by pressing this magical button, releases the cable. The cable is very thin as you can see. So in theory, this could be broken rather quickly. So you want to use this when you're going into a liquor store and it'll be no more than like a minute or two in there. It just keeps a person kind of really trying to like snag your bike from doing that. But let me show you how to best strap up these bad boys. Number one, do not pick something like this. This is your standard meter. When you're using a lock like this, it can easily be slipped up and over. But let me show you how to lock it first and then I'll show you why you don't want to lock it here. For starters, you always want to make sure you lock your frame and at least your back wheel. Those are probably your most expensive components. Again, detach the cable, run it through the back wheel, and then make sure it's actually going through your frame as well as the back wheel. So this rear triangle should do. Then come around here, make sure it's around the pole, and then make sure it's actually going through another part of the frame. Sometimes I've seen people do this where they lock the frame and they never lock it to the pole. So that back's not. So come over here, lock it. So once it's locked, again, you want to make sure that it went through the back wheel, through the triangle frame, came back around, and is locked there. But again, you want something that has an enclosed top or a really wide top where they can't just hoist the bike right over this. So meters are good if you're going to use U-locks or if you're going to really keep it tight to where they can't even extend it over the top of the meter. But again, only use this lock if you're going to be using it for a minute or two. Anything longer than that, you want to take it to the next level up. And the cool thing is, once you remove it, easily retracts, and this little grenade fits right in your pocket. And for those of you guys who want to know, this little combat lock retails for $19.99. Number two, we have the Warhead lock. And the Warhead lock has a rating of 3.5 on a scale of 5. So it's a lot safer than your traditional smaller combat lock. Once you're taking your lock out of the packaging, you're going to use a key to open it up. You're going to break any zip locks. There we go. And now your cable lock is ready to be used. So again, you're going to want to pick the rear wheel, do the triangle, and get it nice and tight. All right. So as you can see, this one's a lot tighter, and it won't let Phil's bike go up and over the meter. So it's gonna be safe. All right, but one thing to keep in mind, it is a cable lock, so if you have some nice bolt cutters like this, boom, it will chop right through. So you don't wanna use these locks for overnight. You wanna use these for like an extended stay at a store, or your girlfriend's house for like an hour or two, you know, Netflix and chill. But you don't wanna do it for like overnight because that will give someone the idea to get either some bolt cutters or a hacksaw, and you can go through that chain. That's why it's rated 3.5. It's not a 5 where you need like a sawzall or a reciprocating saw or something like that. So keep in mind, I would say one to two hours for this guy. And then again, with your key, come around, open up the lock, and you can just basically coil it back up and also put it in your back pocket. This bad boy retails for $26.99, and it's a good bang for your buck. Next up, we have a shield lock, aka a U lock. So these have a rating of five. So that's basically as high as you can go on these types of locks. And the reason for that is you're gonna need something pretty hefty that's gonna make a lot of noise, and it's gonna be very obvious when you're gonna cut this off when you're trying to steal someone's bike. These are also used as a weapon. Keep these in your back pocket, and if you try to steal that bike, you turn around and whack them with this. And then you tell them, I'll send you. And then you tell them, oh, I'll snatch. They'll know what to do. How to use this guy? Same concept, except that these are a little more limited as to how many parts of your bike you can keep locked. Sometimes it will fit through the back wheel. So 
Sometimes they'll only fit either through the rear triangle or through your seat stay or through your seat two. So I would recommend somewhere in between. So maybe like angle it between the top two and the seat two. Make sure it locks. And as you can see, it's not gonna be able to get pulled over either. The only thing is that you're not gonna be able to tie this to like a bigger pole. This is about, I don't know, like an eight or nine inch diameter. But once you get into like the 12 or 14 inch diameters, which are like, like light poles or anything like that, the U-lock isn't gonna be as compatible. But when it comes to like overnight safety, this is what you're gonna want. So if you're gonna leave your bike for, I don't know, six hours overnight, you know, like the Netflix and chill got real and you spent the night, that's what you're gonna want to need. And again, unlock it. This one might not necessarily fit in your back pocket, so you can put it actually like between your pants and your buttocks, and that should work. I've seen a lot of fixy guys do that, so. And again, it doubles as a weapon, so keep that in mind. This shield lock runs in about $36, right, or $44? It's $44.99. This shield lock runs in about $44.99, and if you think about it, that's literally like 0.1% of your bike, so this is a good investment. Last and certainly not least, we have the Brigade Lock. And this is a hefty chain with a nice, safe locking mechanism. This one is rated at a four, but I personally like these a little more than the U-Locks because it has an expanded availability of places that you can lock it. While the U-Lock might seem safer and has a higher rating, you're limited as to where you can place it. This chain, you can actually wrap your bike on just about anything, and it's also gonna be pretty difficult to cut like the U-Lock. So let me show you how this one works. So as you might expect, this is a beefy link chain. So look at those bad boys. Again, you're not going to be able to cut this with any traditional bolt cutter. Either you're going to need some really, really big hefty ones that are going to be pretty obvious that someone's like cutting your lock, or you're going to need, again, a reciprocating saw or a sawzall, and those are really noisy, they're loud, they you know, emit sparks, so they're going to get caught. Again, insert your key here. And, once again, protect your back wheel, make sure it goes through the frame. Shit, you can give it an extra loop just to make it nice and tight. Stick it through the locking mechanism. Want the key. Make sure you turn the key, nice and locked. And bam, your seafoam machine is safe. <laughs> ain't nobody taking this back breaker. But yeah, same concept, it ain't going over that pole. It's noisy. So Pro Sub is really smart and they actually put like a nice protective layer over it so it's not gonna bang up your bike or the pole or wherever you're gonna lock your bike. So they thought ahead for you guys because we all know you guys are gonna be pretty crazy when you know, you're excited to go to your girlfriend's house and lock up your bike somewhere and bang up the paint job. You don't want that. And the Sabrosa Brigade Lock comes in at $64.99. In my opinion, it's the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to protecting your bike. And again, this is a nice weapon. Phil? Demonstrate the fans how you're gonna come at me. <laughs> I'm gonna no? throw my bike at you. <laughs> I'm gonna no? throw my bike at you. <laughs> no throwing your bike at me. We saw what happened at the kid yesterday. But yeah, that should keep your bike nice and safe, and I recommend this one above all. Alfredo would like to take a moment right now to tell you that I am not necessarily endorsed by Sabrosa, but they're the only BMX brand currently making locks for your bike, so hey, why not shout them out? And I am hooked up by this, just a brand shadow, so you know. But I just want to put that out there. Anyhow, that's gonna do it for real. Anyhow, that's gonna do it for real. <laughs> See, the bike is not safe. It needs a lock at all times. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it for me to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna do it for me here at On Some Shit LA. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, found it educational, please give it a like. Smash that MF like button. Subscribe to your boy. Follow Phil Bra. Thank you for filming Bra. Give me a nod. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Peace. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Waste a lot. I'm trying, no, I'm trying to get involved. After Phil killed it today on the manual line, and he's gonna film me. And what else? 
Say it. I know you want to say it. And I kid. Fuck. All right, well, he's going to film me now, so <laughs> thank you, Phil.